Hello Monday gamer people what is going on everybody welcome back to the stream welcome back to the channel welcome back to you boat I'm wearing a little washed out today unfortunately my lights don't seem to be doing much justice but that's because it's still quite bright and I have a very large window behind me my apologies everyone my apologies for simply being a vaguely reddish cast shadow creature Anyway, hope you're all having a fantastic week so far. And listen, if you're not, I I get it. It just started. It just started. VDK, ahoy, my guy. I understand a smoke break, my dude. Wolo Hans, hello, hello. Rick O'Shea, my guy. 11 months, Rick. 11 months of your life. Thanks for checking in. I'm in a row. Garbage. Love it in a row my guy belong to me and i thank you for each and every single solitary one of those yes v just checking in my guy i hear that okay let's take a little look see in the old botinski no water in the boat that's a bonus looks like we've got a lot of food we could use more because they're just eating cheese just cheese all the time i don't feel like that's a good uh, good thing Gonna throw some beef in there too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Can I squeeze any more rounds up here? No. No, I can't. So there. Too bad. So sad. Evening indeed, my guy. Evening indeed. All right. Parts, parts. Good. Let's grab Mr. Dalhouse here. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. We need... All the torpedoes. All the torpedoes. Indeed. Okay, let's get at it then. We just care about the triggers. To hell with the type. Triggers, triggers everywhere. Because I am having one heck of a time with duds this playthrough. Woo-wee, you want to talk realistic dud rate? I got you. <clears throat> um, the headache persisted in various forms uh, while I was away, but not to the level it was at after, say, the first day. So that was definitely a bonus. Um, it was a wonderful time. It's fantastic to see family, of course. I got to see my parents, my sister, her husband, their son, my grandmother. It was just a great time. It was fantastic. Good eats, good cheer, a few beers, etc. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let's stuff as much of this crap as we can into the boat here. Uh, more blue beef. Yes. More cheese. Why not? More eggs. I mean, who doesn't like eggs? If you don't not, if you not like eggs, we're, we're going to have a problem. I still have like significantly more flack in here than I'm supposed to be able to, which is cool. I'm, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth here, people. I think that's 100% fine. Stock up on replacement parts while we can. Okay. One day off duty while they move that crap for me. Uh, I really wish this was bigger. If I could see this, I'd be super pleased. Because I'd love to read it to you. I would. I truly would. But I can't see it. It's too tiny. My eyes are not so happy with the tiny letters. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's just part of uh, part of the aging process, they tell me. And I tell them to piss off. That's usually what I say, unfortunately. Uh, I have a problem with uh, outbursts. But uh, I'm sure some of you are picking up what I'm putting down there. 100% extra generational. It is mint, my dude. Mint it is fantastic. I personally can't get enough of it. I think it's great. Um, they are consuming the food very slowly, I think. Very slowly, which I'm all about. I am super okay with that. Um, headquarters, anything? Anything? Bueller? Bueller? What, who, who do I have? I have an engineer, right? I don't have... I have an engineer and a radioman. That brings a new level to the game. Can I click? I would. I would like to... Okay. Just, okay, just give me this. Oof, sonar decoys, military stash, equipment production. I think I need a leader for literally all of this. Oh, wait, engineer, sonar decoys. Okay, let's get something done. Heck to the yeah. Okay, can I get more torpedoes yet? Ahoy, ye scurvy dogs. Ahoy indeed, my friend. Welcome back. 
Good to see you as always. We're gonna go on a vacation. Maybe they'll stock up torpedoes for me, I think. Need a break, bud. Bavaria is where we shall go. Steins, people. It's all about Steins. Now, that would be interesting, V. I would very much enjoy that. Yep, tiny letters. Report from BDU states that Romania has joined the Axis. Oh, okay. The Romanians are on our side, everybody. The Romanians. Smurf, hello and welcome. Wow, this vacation is uh, wreaking holy hell on this build. You guys notice that? Maybe it's all the newspapers I'm supposed to be reading. I don't know. But they're tiny. I can't read them. They're too teeny. It's just not... I would need bifocals. Can you even still buy bifocals? Is that a thing? It's probably a thing. But I bet you it looks way cooler now than it used to. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. Hey, we got to level up, though. That's a bonus and a half. Okay. Torpedoes, please. I really need good triggers for my turpidoos, turpidoos. All right, the stern is just going to have to take one of these silly ones because I just don't have the wherewithal to do this for much longer. I'm going to go crazy. Um, well, I'm glad you uh, you found them helpful. I'm very, very glad indeed that you were able to find them of use. Of use, one might say. To throw that one in there, that's fine. Yeah. Boop. Now, we have two days until that's complete. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. It would have been handy to get those now, but uh, it's just not happening. Cosmic. Cosmic, my guy. Gotta get you with some new skills. Some new skills, my guy. Hmm, yes. Skills. Uh, auxiliary radio training. Management, no. Navigator. Navigator would be good. Personal skills would be fantastic here. Uh, yeah, let's go with personal skills. That's great for when you board ships. Uh, uh, Matt Man, Canadian, what's going on? Oh, I hear you, V. Honestly, it's getting worse and worse. It's just ridiculous at this point. Okay, I gotta talk to this, uh, this dude over here. Always telling me what to do. He's always complaining at me. Okay, Southerly, Cardiff, Southerly, Scapa, blah, 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 blah. Come on, people. Couldn't we get, like, a halfway decent patrol? Cardiff. This boat's not not ready to do espionage missions. We've, we haven't even upgraded the, uh, upgraded the batteries, for Christ's sake. No, no, it's not going to work. We're going to have to do this nonsense. Oh, it's so irritating. Okay. Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, another... Oh, no, that's a spy. Is it a spy? Wait, what did I just pick? Oh, I gotta take him to the coordinates. Okay, well, whatever, man. <laughs> you got it there, uh, boat uh, uh, sender outer people. You, you're, you're in charge. Whoa, damn. Okay, I feel like we could have waited for the tide to come up a little bit, but sure, yeah, rock and roll. Okay. <clears throat> oh my God, yes, the IO wires—they are something else. Okay. Where am I? Oh, I did pick Cardiff. Cool. I'm stupid. I chose a mission that this boat is not really going to be able to do all that well. And I chose it anyway because I am a Dumpkovsky. That's probably not a word, but it is now. It is now. All right. What does this dude want? What do you want, dude? Come here, Cosmic. We go talk to this dude. Yeah, we got to save too. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I just don't, I don't understand. Like, why, why is my brain not safe? Like, could I get a little bit of save, please, brain? Good. Thank you. I knew that, but cool. I'm glad you pointed it out. What a kiss ass, right? What a kiss ass. Anyway, we're going to save. We're going to save. Gentle turns in port. I hear you, my guy. I set them to be as gentle as lambs. Whether or not anything bad is going to happen, who knows? 
Who knows? The shadow knows. Uh, Geekbane, thanks for that follow. Much obliged. Welcome to the channel. Hello, hello. Oof, man, it takes a long time to save a UBE. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we are turning very slowly. Because this thing is essentially a brick for the water. Geekbane and a subscription. Appreciate it, my guy. Appreciate it very, very kindly. Thank you so very much for the subscription. Much obliged. Much obliged indeed. All right, come on, boat. You can do it. I believe in you. Turn boat. Turn boat. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Now we just have to plot a course out of here. In the dark. That's super easy, right? It's just dark. It's just night. It's just filled with horrors and dangers untold. That's all. That's all. Adam, what's up, my guy? Switch from YouTube. Thanks again. No, thank you, my dude. Thank you. Okay. Want any, any luck? We're not going to get grounded this time. That was a pain. Wasn't a big fan of that. For anybody just joining the stream, uh, we're mistakenly heading off to Cardiff because I clicked the wrong damn mission. We got to drop off a spy, which turns into just a nonsensical kind of mission. But, you know, I'm sure many of you have been there. I'm sure many of you have been there. But yeah, we're going to go do some stuff with this spy guy. We got to maintain his cover. So that means no... Uh, no playing with the locals until we get there, which is one of the reasons why I can't stand the spy missions in the first place, because it's like, can't I still play the game? Wouldn't that be cool if I was still playing the game, you know? And they're like, no, 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 you can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. <clears throat> it, you know what? It was difficult when I ran into the uh, sandbar that time. That was uh, pretty rough. I didn't appreciate that at all. I think uh, they did it on purpose. I think they purposely ran the gro the the boat aground to upset me. Um, it's just the kind of thing that these scoundrels I call a crew would do. That is my personal belief, and I stand by it every step of the way. Every step of the way. All right, are we We're not quite clear yet? We will be. And then we got to go up to Cardiff and say hello. Gotta go say, how's she going to the Cardiffians? The Cardassians. There's a reference. <clears throat> There's a reference for yes. All right. Uh, probably gonna want to steer clear of that RAF base. Go up and around kind of thing. I don't know why I'm laying in a course. I'm obviously going to have to change it because we're gonna run into a bunch of crap. That's gonna be annoying and in my way, but uh, it is what it is. Activate warp speed. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. I shouldn't sing songs. I'm going to get a DMCA strike. I think I've mentioned that before, but it, it can happen literally at any time. <clears throat> of all the places you chose, Cardiff, this wasn't my fault. I 100% did not mean to click on that. Obviously, the game is um, conspiring with the pirates I call my crew and forcing me to do these things. So, it's not my fault. <laughs> there you go, game of rugby. I've never played rugby in my life. <clears throat> never, ever, ever. I don't even think I understood what it was until I was in like high school. Don't get me wrong, there are, like, Canadians do play the game. I just, I never, uh, never found myself getting involved with it, etc. So, the really crap side of the story is we're going to be traversing this in the daylight, which is a bit of a pain. But Mama never raised no cowards, so we're going to do what we got to do, right? Take a look at... Uh, okay, looks like we won't run aground, per se. Per se. Now, there is shipping in here. Definitely going to want to keep that in mind. Let's... No, we are at red lighting, okay. So, we haven't done espionage. We know there's uh, nets and mines. So this could be a real quick outing. I'm just saying. This could be... We could just be uh, taking the pee, as I've heard people say in the past. What? It's look, look like... Whoa, okay. 
I'm telling, like, it's got to be the UBE thing. It's got to be all the uh, mods and stuff. But wow, on the map, my FPS just tanks. Uh, nope, I have no interest in putting a man on the hydrophone. Nope. I've got lookouts. I always have two lookouts, uh, including um, an officer. At all times. See, there's my little sight bubble. There it is. We're in a fog bank. That's why we can't see very well. That's working out quite nicely for us, realistically. In fact, we're going to go even faster. Try to take advantage of the fog while we can. So we got to get all the way up here. All that ways up there. Let's give everything a nice wide berth. Because we don't know what we're going to run into. Bum, bum. That's what makes a front. Mm, mm, mm. Did I just say front? I think I just said front. I apologize. I apologize. Yes, teeny tiny itsy bitsy range. Teeniest and tiniest of ranges. Okay. We managed to come in under the cover of fog, which is fantastic, obviously. So let's kick up the jams to maximum a go-go. Okay. Ooh, port defenses. Don't like the sound of that. Uh, negative. Hang on. Whoa. 42, 41... Okay. I thought it said negative six me. Okay, I'm locked up. Okay, can you stop? God damn it. I thought it said negative six meters there for a second. I was like, oh, that ain't good. So dash not good. Don't like that. All right, how close do I got to get again? Game, don't stutter when I'm on the map. Please, please stop. Please stop doing that. I don't like it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Leave area. Send report. Copy that. Back us up, Mr. Sulu. You can do it. I believe you. Boop. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. New objective. Listen to the radio. Okay. Ooh, I almost just drove us into the beach. Whoa. That was close. Uh-oh. I'm getting an important message, you guys. We need an update on air defenses in Cardiff Docks. <sighs> Thank you, Shade. Ba -dum -bum Never change, my guy. Never change. Never change. Uh, lost contact with U-104. She, she gone. U-104 is gone. All right. Let's give it a bit of a berth, and then we'll come in at it from this way. Okay. Now we've got to try to get into Cardiff. We're still in a fog bank, which is good. But it's daylight, which is bad. We could also slam into a mine or a net at any time. Which is also bad. Right? So what I'm trying to say is the bad is very rapidly outweighing the good, and I'm, I'm quite concerned. I have very significant concerns. We may slip under the water quite shortly, but I'm going to try to get as close as I can under the cover of the fog. What's the difference between impact trigger and magnetic trigger? Sure thing. So an impact trigger is set off by actually striking the target. It has to strike it at a pretty decent angle, which means that the curve of the ship, either left, right, up, or down, can't be too great for the little uh, pin on the front of it to be pushed into the torpedo. That's what makes it detonate. A magnetic trigger um, is designed to explode when, when it becomes really, really close to a heavy magnetic signature, i.e. a big old steel ship. The point of impact triggers is when you have a really solid 90 degree angle to shoot at. And the point of magnetic triggers is that they do much more damage, especially if you can get them to detonate just, just below the keel of your target ship. Because the explosion is essentially cracks the ship in half. It breaks its back. So that would be the main difference there. Okay, we're only a kilometer out, so we're going to go to periscope depth. We're slow to two. Because even with the fog bank, it's getting a little sketchy. We're going to go blue lighting to conserve our oxygen as long as possible. 
And I'm going to jump on the listening room to see if we can get an indication of anything moving around in the port. Now, very shallow waters here. Very shallow waters. So we've got to get in right to here so we can ch check it out. No problem there, Poca Honest. No problem at all. No problemo. Alarm. Oh, we found the port. Good job, everybody. Ugh, sometimes these... Sometimes it's just silly. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just silly. Alright, coasting at speed one. No indication of any running motors. So, I'm feeling fairly confident at the moment, which is, you know, a bonus. So, let's grab the periscope. And I'm wondering now... If the wonderful, wonderful fog will actually be a significant detriment to me now, which I'm pretty sure it is, because I can't see the shore. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be very difficult to locate the anti-air guns without getting real... Oh, hang on. Got one there. Without getting really, really close. Jesus! Ah! Ooh, thanks, Rick. Hey, Lear, what's going on, my guy? Magnetic trigger still had to hit the ship. At the angle. Nope, nope. Magnetic triggers are essentially just a magnetic coil designed to uh, be induced by a strong magnetic field. Okay, let's kill the motors there. See what we can see, if anything at all. Don't expect to see much. Don't, I don't, I don't. So that's the one I identified. I'm seeing buildings. This is helpful. Because, there we go, that's two. How many do I gotta find? Four of them, okay. Four A guns. Just scan, I'm just getting the hints of buildings. That might have been a ship, actually, not a building. That may have been a ship. Just taking a quick look. Here we go. More pier. Looking for Mr. AA gun. Mr. AA gun. Oh, I thought for sure that was one, but that's a truck. That is a truck. That will not be helpful. Unless it happens to be an AA truck, which I don't think is really a thing just yet. I mean, it probably is, now that I think about it. Like, it probably most definitely is, but... You know, I'm just rambling at this point, so you're just going to have to put up with me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just do this. Okay. So... I'm thinking... Okay, where... Where's directly ahead? Alright, where's the nearest gun that I picked up? It's at my 90 degree. So I've seen a gun over here. And over here at 120. So I'm figuring that there isn't much more to find over here. I'm thinking I gotta get closer this way. We're gonna try it out. Okay, let's stop here. Stop here. Hey there, Cosmic B. What's going on, my, what's going on, my guy? I agree, gotta be done. Oh dear. Everybody's mad. Alright, so that's the one that was at my 120. That's the one that was at my 90. We got ships here. It's definitely a ship over there. Now, I should have some more dock ahead of me here. Okay, we do. Looking for anti-air... That's a destroyer. Right there. Looking for anti-air guns. Bollards. I think I saw a mast back there. Just scanning for guns. Another ship back there somewhere. Need to find the guns, please. I need to find two more of them, to be exact. Two more guns. They are being wascally wabbits and not letting me find them. It's trees. Could be up on shore, I suppose. Mm, not the most likely thing, but it could be. Alright, 
now we're looking right back where we started. Okay. So I'm not detecting any guns here. I detected guns here. Let's move in this direction. Speed one. Living the dream, my guy. Love to hear it. That is fantastic news. Living the dream. Beautiful. B A E U T F U L. Let's keep the alarm on, gentlemen. I want maximum sight range, please. Feel like there should be guns in this way. Whether or not that's correct, time will tell. Because, I mean, if you're going to be covering the base, you probably want to cover the base, right? Oh, I am scraping my boat. Oh, dear. All right, periscope depth is not good here. This is bad. Bad periscope depth. Now, was that the first one I spotted? No, that was the first one I spotted. Ship back there. Okay. So, I feel like I already searched this area. Mr. Destroyer Man. Oh, AA guns, where are you? You're making it very difficult for me to do my job. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, let's back up. Ooh, what happened? Everything locked up and then suddenly there's a boat trying to kill me, so... Ooh. Oh, that ain't good. That's not good at all. Ooh. Didn't like that. No, didn't like that at all. Eesh. Okay. Uh, Alright, so there's a destroyer. So there's a destroyer. Come on, so there's a destroyer. You know what I mean? It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Am I not moving? What is going on here? Hello? Oh, I may be caught on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Back up, little fishy. Back up, little fishy. Back up, little fishy. We're in a little bit of trouble. A little bit. You're not wrong. A little bit. It's a little bit of trouble. I, you know, I'm honestly, I'm not, I'm not super concerned. I think we're going to be okay. Still scraping? No. Good. Barely. Geesh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is why I hate this mission. It's so difficult in your early ship. You know what I mean? Very difficult in the early ship. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, Hello. Skipper, can we put this down? Goodbye. Oh, I can't. I can't bring it down all the way. That's fun. Right? Go, little boat, go. Uh, okay. We're fine. It's cool. Remember how we liked the fog a lot? We should not have liked the fog that much. I'm just saying. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, lordy, lordy. Now we're scraping again. The fog is not your friend. Do, 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 do. Fog is not your friend. Do, do. Okay. Now we're searching sort of like the ragged edges of the port. Because I can't find these other two guns. And I don't even know where to begin looking. Which is less than ideal. I don't know if you guys knew... Oh, hang on. Did I already see that one? At my 160, so basically right behind me. Must be over here. Okay. All right. Can I borrow this? Thank you, Skipper. I know it's yours. I know you're very particular about who uses your periscope, but I just I need it really quick. Because there's guns here somewhere, and I need to find them. And I can't. Because of the weather. So... 
you know how it is. Just need to find guns. Uh, Mordekaiser. Hello, welcome. Mordekaiser. That's a cool handle. Only found the two. Okay. It would appear that everything I'm finding is located in this direction. I haven't been able to find anything at all in this direction, which is super not cool. But it is what it is. If only the uh, fog would dissipate, I'd be a very happy boy. Very happy boy, right? Okay, let's let this guy do his thing. They could definitely hear us trucking around in the harbor, right? Yeah, we'll just climb out. That's what we do. We just climb out. It's fine. I might have to try to wait out the fog, which means then I lose the cover of the fog in order to get out of here, which means, well, there's a very good chance we just die. So... But if the fog doesn't dissipate, I am S-O-L. S-O-L, one might say. Time compression is rocking along. But there's really nothing I can do. Yes, game, I understand. Port defenses, aircraft, cool, very smart, excellent. If you could stop interrupting me, I'd appreciate it. <sighs> Cardiff, man. Don't recommend doing these missions until you've got super good batteries. La 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 la. Don't really need that, I don't think. This maybe? I don't know. Ugh. You're also locked at times 140 speed, so everything is taking a significant amount of time. You know what I mean? Copy, Tian. And we are ever so slightly poking out of the water because I can't hide the boat any better than this. I mean, I guess I could put her right down in the bottom. Let's try that. Boom. There we go. That's better, right? That's got to be better. Um, I would like you to keep the periscope hidden. My crew is stressed, everybody. No doubt. Yeah, unfortunately, Samurai, there wasn't a whole lot to pick from. It was uh, pretty, pretty... Ugh. <laughs> Pretty rough stuff, my dude. Pretty rough stuff. I'm sorry there's nothing happening, everybody. I really wish I could make some... Whoa, what the hell just happened? Excuse me? Hello? Um... You know, I don't think this is right. Where am I? Hello? Hello? What? I don't think this is correct. I really don't. Um. Hmm. Um. <sighs> Hmm. No, no, I think something might be wrong here. I think something is amiss. Something is not correct, I don't think. Because... Um, something launched me into the air. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, oops. We're gonna go ahead and load that save. Know what I'm saying? I think we should probably load that save, because, um, hello, game? Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Looks fine to you. There you go, my guy. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Yep, secret tech. Secret tech, everybody. 
flying non-stealth U-boats. They're super useful. I can you can you imagine how useful a flying U-boat that is completely visible is? Oh, it's just the best. Also, when you go to fire torpedoes, they just fall out of the tubes because there's no water. It's just it's good. It's very good. You're not wrong, Samurai. You play with mods. You uh you take certain uh take certain um risks let's say still it would have been nice if that didn't happen uh but hey it is what it is one of the worst parts is of course how long it takes for ube to load i am so sorry about how unbelievably dark this stream is like i'm not sure what to tell you like it's almost like none of my lights are making light somehow right a lead balloon a lead balloon uh, bear with me, folks. We're just loading the save. It should only take like a day and a half. <laughs> uh, mods, man. Mods. Will I be trying a beta for release? I have no idea, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure I should. I'm not sure I should. Um, If they're going to release the game, release it. You know what I mean? Like, let's just release it. Let's just let's stop pissing about, release it, and if it's broken, we'll tell you. But, you know. We're not going to transit the entire way this time because, oh my god, I can't see with this light in my eyes. Because I'm not going to put you through uh, waiting the entire time for us to get there. So we're going to move a little bit really quick. And then we'll get to uh, where it is we need to go. Oh, it's so dark. What am I even to do with you? Game? Stream? Setup? What? True, you're not wrong. That U-boat would come in handy. In those situations, you're not wrong at all. Okay, so this time, even though it made uh, dropping the spy off very simple, fog is not what I want. Oh, and I also really don't want aircraft because we're supposed to keep this guy hidden. Please dive. Certainly hope we dived in time. Uh, it says we've maintained this cover, I think. So, good. Let's get away from where we were for a minute. We don't want the aircraft doing stuff. <clears throat> Trampoline mines. Yep, absolutely. Everybody is familiar with those. The kinds that fling U-boats into the sky. They're the best ones. They're a Mark 27. Electric compressor, please. Dive planes. Let's make sure they're electric right now. Probably why it took me forever to dive there. Yeah. Yeah. The light seemed fine to you. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because of my preview, but like with the light over here where it normally sits, like, like I feel like I'm just a shadow. Am I not just a shadow? Uh, can somebody... Uh, sorry, Jack. The the alerts don't work on, um, on YouTube. They don't work there. There is no integration for them yet. Still waiting on somebody to let me know about the lights. If you so please. Please to do. Okay. Let's dive to 30 meters anymore. Which is pretty much what I expected. <clears throat> pretty much what I expected. Can I shade it? I don't know what that means, shade. Your shade. I can't you it. That doesn't make sense. Either start making sense, or you go back in the closet. I'm just saying. We will... Okay. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Please dive. Thank you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Just get back and you boat us a bit of a break. What do you think about the recent news from the devs? I'm... I mean, I'm excited for the new build. I'm... I don't, I've never seen the purpose of different boats, especially older, junkier boats. I've never gotten that. I guess some people really want the, um, the challenge of it or something. I'm not 100% sure, but no, I, I really couldn't, uh, that's, that's not what I mean. They, they did announce they've revamped all the missions and made new missions, and I'm very excited for that. That is my cup of tea. That's what I'm all about. We shall see. God, I hate being stuck at times 140 speed. Wow, isn't it terrible? 
Do I have a snorkel installed? No, much too early. It is 1940, my friend. 1940. Yes, more missions, please. Please and thank you. Game, please let me go fast in times 140. For the love of... Okay, you know what? I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Like, I don't know what it is that they expect from me, but... Having that kind of patience just isn't, like, I'm not going to go cook dinner while I'm playing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just me. It's just my inability to focus. It's my inability to focus. Like, I want to do stuff. I want to go do stuff. I don't want to be stuck moving half a kilometer an hour for the majority of the game. You know what I mean? It's just me. It's just my stuff. You had to have your own custom mission. What would be? What would include? Hmm. My own custom mission. Um. I would say. Um. Probably something along the lines of disrupt shipping, in and out from either Sydney, Boston, or New York. Like do everything you can to ruin the supply lines on that side of the Atlantic. I think that's what I'd be all about. They would have to make milk cows much more accessible for such a thing. But that's, I think that'd be a very cool mission. New comms. Convoy. Why would, okay. Yep, convoy. Convoy, very important, very important. Convoy. Current you a no bug mission would be nice. You're not wrong. Better crew management, I think, is a must. Honestly, it's a must. It has to be either better explained or more user friendly because what it is now is very ham fisted, right? Um Yes, you can do that. It makes it very, very slightly faster, correct? You're not wrong. Transport VIPs. No, no, not at all. I don't. Any of the missions where I have to take people either to or from anywhere just irritate the crap out of me. I can't stand them. I want to go do U-boat stuff. I want to go blow stuff up. That's all I care about. All I care about. Okay. Leave the area. Copy that. Wait for command to tell me to go attack the port. Because that's what's gonna happen. Do 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 do. That's what's gonna happen. Listen to radio. Very good. Go to the port. Find the guns. Okay. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not find the guns. Maybe I should have read that. Draw the attention of the port defenses. Not a problem. I am all over this. You have no idea. No idea. There you go. I mean, that's one way to do it. Um, I just... I can't. I... <clears throat> when the game first came out, <clears throat> you know, before I spent 900 hours in it or so, um, yeah, I was all about you could take your time and do your stuff and whatever, but now, no way. I don't have that kind of patience anymore, right? Why we don't see NCOs on board? Uh, oops, we collided with a net. Oopsie, we hit a net. All right. So that's where the net is. Let's go this way. Maybe I should save here. God, I hate it though. See, I don't like the idea of saves coming, but also if I run into that same um, issue where it just locks me out completely because it throws my boat in the air, that's not going to work for me. So you're probably right. You're probably right. What's this? Transport high-tech engines or blueprints. No, I don't want to deliver things. I have no interest in delivering anything. Nothing at all. I just want to sink boats. That's what I want. That's that's really all I want. Make any uh, mission where it's my job to sink boats and I am your huckleberry. That's what I need in my life. That is what I need in my life, my guy. All right, gain their attention, eh? Okay. Gain their attention. Stop that. Go this way. Gain their attention. Okay. Let's, uh... Oop. What's that? That's the land. Well, we don't want to go there. 
Let's go to periscope depth. There's the boat. Thank you. Alarm. Red alarm, everybody. Attacking warships for missions? Absolutely. 100%. I would be all about attacking warships. I honestly have never understood why they're not worth anything. Game, stop kicking me out of time compression. I don't care what you're talking about. I don't care. You guys ever just sit here and have to hammer on the button over and over and over to move 10 feet? Because it happens to me a lot. I just wanted to stay at time compression. That's all I want. That's all I want. Yeah, I'm a little kill crazy. You're not wrong. <clears throat> Those were missions I would make if I could mod. Uh, okay. Never happened to you? Happens to me all the time. All the time. I'm gonna like crab walk this thing into port. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's turn it around. <sighs> you guys could tell I'm getting uh, irritated. Come on. Come on. Turn. Turn around. That's all I need is for you to turn. <laughs> uh, if only the time compression would go longer one second, right? Make missions in Asia and the Pacific. I don't think I'd want to sail all the way to Asia, in all honesty. I, I don't think I could I could stomach it. Hammer the space ball or all uninstalled all the mods so we didn't have to experience these skips. That makes sense to me, in all honesty. Okay, we're talking about 660 meters. So here's what we're gonna do to get the port's attention. I'm gonna warm up the aft tube. I'm gonna warm up the aft tube. Once we got that warmed, we're going to do something interesting. We're going to fire a torpedo at the port and see if we can get anybody's attention. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if I can find something to cheekily lock onto here. Something, anything to lock onto. Because, of course, in this game, you can't just fire a torpedo. Unless, what if I used the TDC? Hmm, that might be a way to do it. You there. Um, maybe, no, because I still need to open. Hmm. Um, okay, let me think. <clears throat> no observation ring on the map. No, we're in the thick of fog and I've got the, um, the, uh, periscope is just basically not sticking out of the water. Also, I could be bugged to hell and back because of reasons. Also, no one's raising the periscope, which is super fun. Okay, I need something to log on to so I can start adding some values. There's a gun. One of the guns I no doubt needed to find last time. But, okay, I found a something. There it is. There it is. Lock. Lock. Come on, lock. Come on, lock for me. Lock! Come on. Come on. Do it. Gotcha. Ooh, I can lock onto the AA platform. Perfect. That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, the AA platform is doing uh, a speed of zero. So we're just going to put that in. Uh, the course is also zero. The distance to... Where is that? That's sitting at my 30 degrees. And I'm facing yonder. Let's set it to 210, 210 degrees. No, that's wrong. 200, no. Set this to, I don't know, 1,000. <laughs> I'm just trying to make things go. I don't know if you caught that or not. Uh, yeah. Uh, Angle out of range. Okay. So I need something to lock on to that's more in this direction. Oh, if I could see, that'd be cool. 350? No, that's not going to work. Oh, hang on. There's a gun I could probably lock on to, right? Hello? 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 I want to lock on. Please let me lock on to you. I want to be friends. 
I want to be friends with the AA gun. What's that? What is it? Why can't I lock onto it? Whatever it is. What, what are you? Let me lock to you. Yeah. Oh, did it work? Wait, wait, wait. Got it. Unknown ship. Sitting at... 235. Can I use this guy on that, I wonder? Zero. Zero. One thousand. Yes! Here we go. Maximum speed, torpedo. Hell yeah. <laughs> Name and a shark's face on every fish sent? No, I prefer to just sign them. Torpedo away. It's, there it goes. Let's see if we can upset the uh, port. Should have seen that coming. Should have seen that coming. I'll waste whatever I feel like. Thank you. I will waste all the things. All of them. Why do you refuse to go in this direction? What is your problem? Turn around. Oh, here we go. There we go. Now we got ourselves a huckleberry. Uh, can't see any bearings or anything. Too much light in my eyes. My own silly fault. Hello. Hi. Hello. We are scraping a bit. That's okay. Maximum a go go, please, gentlemen. Maximum a go go, please, gentlemen. Come on, boys. Let's move this tub. Well, that's the mission. That was easy. We're up to eight knots. Kill the motor there. Okay. So, that's, I'm pretty sure, what we needed to do was make him very upset at us. I am basically riding the bottom here. So that's plus, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, V. With how long it took to do this? No, there shall be none of that. Okay, let's see what he's going to do. Uh, did he park? Where'd he go? Oh, no, he's coming back again. Okay, while he's got his back to me, I'm gonna move. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we just need a couple wheels. Okay, we're in a little bit of a spot of trouble here. A little spot of trouble here. Can't see it. Can't hear it. Max, go. Stop telling me where to go. Let me decide where to go. God. <laughs> oh, you want to go this way, right? No. No. Uh. Yeah, I bet you do. So does this guy. He's very upset about it, too. Very upset about it. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, kill the motors, drop us to the bottom. There we go. He's close. He's close. He's so close, he has no idea how close he is. Get on depth keeping. Speed two. Come on, move. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. All right. Port defenses may be near. I bet they are. I really do. 
I want to get out of the way before these guys get too close. Really hope I'm not driving directly into the minefield, by the way. Because I could be. I only have vague recollections of where it is. Okay, everybody relax. We're okay. We're fine. Shut up. I said relax. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Said no one. That's why I don't do these port ones, man. They're just not... Just doesn't work out. You know what I mean? Why are you using the observation scope? I specifically left orders that the observation scope was not to be used. Like... Why are you using the observation scope? What would even possess you to do such a thing? Silly skipper. What a silly skipper he is. Ever seen mines this far from a port? Uh, they stretch along here somewhere, I think. Or up this way? I can't really remember. Could be a spy. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, now it's just a matter of... Oh my god. Waiting for the game to let me leave. That's really all it is. Attack the port in Mediterranean or fun missions. Honestly, I find it kind of like shooting fish in a barrel at this point. I remember the first couple of times I did it, I was like, oh, this is like so awesome. Just raining unholy death down on everything. But then I was like, they're literally not moving though. So, I don't know. It lost its appeal. It lost its appeal, unfortunately. Okay, we're getting a little low on air. We're in a fog bank though. Which is awesome. So we're going to take a quick gulp of air. We're going to take a quick gulp of air as we continue to run away with our tail between our legs. Go. Go. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's duck back under. Keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. I'm going to take him off of here so we can forget about these stupid boats. That's a little tip, by the way. You can actually set it so that, like, so if you can't hear your enemies, your ship will no longer be at alarm. And then you can not worry about all the problems that come with your ships being at alarm, etc. Mission complete. Yay! Too much time in the game. You're not wrong. I've spent an extraordinarily uh, large amount of time in this game, so I tend to get a little jaded. I do tend to get a, li a wee little bit jaded. Monday... 16 December. No shade. They've added no U-boats, my guy. Yes, Samurai, that's where we're heading, my guy. That is where we're heading. Today would be nice. Okay, 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 okay. All right. We basically did nothing, but we got a leader, and that's actually something I really, really wanted for doing stuff in headquarters. Seven more hours, eh? You really had me have to have me waiting seven more hours? This doesn't seem right. Um, I don't think they tie the boats up quite that tightly, but uh, hey, what do I know? Know what I mean? What am I talking about? I'm just a crazy fella. Super crazy guy. Could be super low, t low tide. Um, I have to load a torp anyway. One. Um, hey, Will's Realm, what's going on, my guy? Listen, everybody, uh, this is the point where we take a quick uh, 10 to 15 minute break. If you choose to leave the stream now, thanks very kindly for coming by in the first place. I really do appreciate it. Um, hope to see you again in the future. I do stream every Monday and Wednesday. For those of you who are going to stick around for just... <sighs> hey, Nightmare. For those of you who are going to be sticking around for just a little bit, me and my... Uh, shattered heart in my chest from all the fear. <clears throat> we'll see you very, very shortly.
Alrighty, folks, what do you say we try to get back at it? Kind of a sort of a thing, just that awkward moment until the game catches up to streaming software. And it looks like we're back on board. Hello, uh, Fox Ferox. Thanks for that uh, follow. Appreciate it. Much obliged. Nightmare, my guy. 26 months, man. 26 months of your life belong to me, my friend. And I thank you for each and every one of those 26 months. I do. I truly, truly do. All right, let's take a look at the galley real quick. Uh, things are okay, things could be better. Let's make it better by adding entirely too many eggs. That feels like what a normal person would do in this scenario, right? Like you're like, this things are kind of crappy. And I'm like, you know what we should do is add too many eggs and then everything will be better. That's how these things work, right? All right, I need to torp in the back seat here. Let's do that. Uh, re, mm, re three, Mister. Hello, welcome, welcome. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. A little more fuel, please. Still can't squeeze any more ammo in. We can always take more food, though. It's always a thing. More food is more better, and I'm pretty sure Gandhi said that. Did Gandhi say that? Gandhi might have said that. I, for one, feel privileged to have said the same kind of thing as Gandhi. I think it's good. It's a good thing. Okay, we're going to get these turpidus aboard. 18 hours worth of turpidu. Something is wrong with the O2 compressed tank. It drains consistently. Um, it's actually, yes, it is draining. I'm guessing we have some kind of idiot bug uh, for reasons. You know, reasons. We, 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 we have reasons, right? We're good at it. We're good at reasons. Okay, equipment production. I finally have a leader to use. Thank you. 12 days for him to do his thing. 11 hours off to finish shipping in all the goods. And now it would appear that the ballast is no longer uh, expelling itself, which is good, I think. Don't want any leaks in the ballast system, people. All right, way down yonder, which is dull. God, I'm getting sick of hunting in AM. I am not going in the med. I am not attacking Scapa Flow with a Type 2, not a Type 2, but a B, rather, that has no additional uh, equipment. That is silly. Okay, back to uh, irritating the British Isles. Right? Hunting off the coast of Ireland, etc. Didn't use yellow tape. See, this, I feel, this is excessive. We shouldn't be falling from this far. I get that there's tides and stuff, but come on, people. Come on, man. What are you even doing with your life? I don't know the answer to that. Where am I? What's... Okay. Okay. We just gotta... Yeah, we just gotta steer and stuff. We're just gonna... Just gonna get it out of the lock really quick. And we're gonna turn it, and we're gonna turn it again. Just nice and easy like, because it gets all squirrely with the UBE mod. It does. Uh, Zintos, Bud Spencer. I don't know who that is, Zintos, but thank you nonetheless for what I'm assuming would be a compliment. I, I really couldn't say. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. An actor. What would I have known um, Mr. Spencer in? Hmm. Could somebody please give me a hint as to what I may have seen this this Italian thespian in? That would prove most helpful, I think. Yes, yes. Most helpful, yes. Trinity Films. No idea. Big fists. They call me nobody. An Olympic swimmer. Hits like a locomotive. <laughs> hmm. That's that's kind of impressive. I can't remember the last time I was uh, given five movie titles in a row and have not a clue as to what any of them are. I gotta say, I am a little bit impressed. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Perhaps we have... I am in Canada, by the way. That may be playing a part in the me not understanding who this is kind of thing. It certainly could be. 
Unless it is mainstream yonder, chances are fairly good. I have yet to see it. Why is that U-boat just sitting still? What are you doing? What? Okay. Just look at him. Just, just sitting there. Just sitting there. Oh well. <clears throat> Big fists and hits like locomotive aren't movie titles, just as traits. So he's Chuck Norris for Italy, is what we're saying. He's Italy's answer to Chuck Norris. Is that is that what we're getting at? If you Google his name, you'll remember him. At least you, you will know that you've seen him. Okay. I'm willing to play your game. What's his name again? Bud Spencer? Was that it? Let's find out. Let's find out. Bud Spencer. Italian actor and swimmer. Um... Oh, wasn't he in, like, uh, Shane or something? No, it wasn't Shane. It was... Okay, hang on. Trinity, still my name. Crime Busters. Banana Joe. I've seen this actor. Very, very old-timey. 70s and 80s. I'm sure I saw him in a Western. Almost 100% I saw him in a Western. Hmm. Might have been Ace High. That rings a bell. Hannibal? Could have seen him in Hannibal. Okay. Alright, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Got Burner, what's going on, my guy? How you been? First cousin was named Shane for that movie, never seen it. It's got quite a, quite a, a, a sad ending. Quite a sad ending. Quite sad, as endings go. We've reached a shallow area near the shore. Whatever are we to do? Right? I love how this game thinks some things are important and completely ignores others. Like stopping me before I end up in the middle of a convoy. I'd love for that to go away. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Hope you're all doing well, by the way. Hope everybody is doing well. Ship! Nope, that's a sub... Oh, okay, we might need to speed up, like, a lot. We could crash into this sub right here. Come on, map. Wake up. All right, we're good. We're good. Had to make sure we uh, cleared traffic there. Oh, where's that person with the little sign and the whistle when you need them? You know, directing traffic and such? I feel like that would have been very helpful in that scenario. Almost crash into another submarine. How do you live that one down? Right? Take it, this is the campaign. Uh, this is a campaign in U-Boat Expanded, if that's helpful. Honk the, yeah, I should have honked the horn. What am I doing? I should be uh, using the spotlight and honking and uh, generally making an ass of myself, essentially. Sunday sailor, right? All right, now I got to call mommy and daddy and tell them that we're, uh, we're in the sandbox, so to speak. Let them know that we've reached the area where they think we should be playing. Sun's just going down, so with any luck, we'll get to our a like the main areas of our AOR with a very little problem. Now, unfortunately, there's not a ton of shipping this low. It tends to be a little higher up. But that's okay. We're going to do our damnedest to find something to shoot at. I enjoy shooting at things. I don't know if you guys got that. It's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. No doubt, a torpedo would very likely uh, establish not only right-of-way, but dominance. And, you know, I don't know if you've seen any uh, any, any movies uh, recently with, like, prison escapes and whatnot, but s uh, establishing dominance quickly is, it seems to be pretty important. Overall, you know what I mean? Shoot him if you got him. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> if you've got torpedoes, use torpedoes. We're going to hunt at the lines, I think. That's a good idea. We're in the middle of a nasty, nasty storm, so being under the water seems to be a good call. As far as I'm concerned, I think we should be under the water. Let's make that attempt, shall we? There you go, fellas. You can do it. You can do it. Just gotta... You just gotta... Hang on. Almost there. Just gotta... Hey, That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm putting down. All right, first hunt of the day, and we're getting nothing. I didn't really expect much. Again, 
I know there's a lot going on up here. Down here, not so much. Not so much down here, but that's okay. That's okay, we'll find something. Yes, the submarine is happy for it, under the water. It's in its natural state, etc. Alright, we're hitting the line again, so we'll do a hunt. Sector by sector, uh, hunter, seeker kind of stuff. Hang around the ports, live dangerously. Um, I wouldn't say hanging around the ports is dangerous at all. Uh, all you have to do for the escorts near ports, especially since you're in such shallow water, is just hang out on the bottom. And you're pretty much good to go. Um, I wouldn't say that there's much to that. It can be fun, don't get me wrong. Because, you know, just all the... Everything just goes directly in front of you and just kill it, right? Can you go out of the area and get kills and go back? Yes, you can. You can indeed, which I may end up doing. Um, by the way, this, for those of you who are new to the game, this area right here, this square, BF1, this is the best square in the entire game. This is right in here. This little, like what I'm tracing out here, like right through the word Celtic, right there, that is the money. That's where the money is made. That's where we make all our dollars and or cents. That's where all the money lives. Hang out there. That's where you're going to find some tons. That's where you find those wascally tonnages. It's interesting, you know, because even if you're using um, either dynamic or realistic time, it still shows it as times 2048, not times 6500. Which is, I don't know, I just think it's kind of interesting. Sailor working by the buckets in the engine room. Oh, no doubt. No doubt, my guy. Alright, another little dippity-doo. Oof, I must say, I'm uh, not feeling this sector. I'll tell you that right now. Not feeling it at all. I've got neither visual indication nor oral indication of anything going on whatsoever. And it makes me sad. I just want to kill boats. Is that so wrong? You know, is that so wrong? Uh, didn't get a mission tonnage until I reached my patrol area. Rated in. Um, you do have to reach the sector before it'll register the fact that you've beaten the mission. Yes. It's not a bug, it's just... Well, I guess you could call it a bug. It's just how the game recognizes that such things are actually happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Let's try one maybe here. Like if we stuff coming up from the Caribbean and stuff might be down this way. Right? Oof. Oof. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. I believe in us. I do. I think we're going to be fine. I believe in us wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Come on, big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Nothing. Okay. Can't win them all, people. You can't win them all. I've tried. I've tried desperately to win all of them, and it just never seems to work out for me. Mission, ton mission tonnage as in black pit total tonnage 50k to the, the, the. yes yeah basically got what you're talking about we're gonna go up this way where i pretty sure there is boats we're gonna go to where the boats probably are we're using a lot of fuel to do this but that's okay let's listen on the radio tell them that we finished that now let's go look for some tons I want my tons. I do. I want my tons. Okay. Let's dip outside the sector for a change. <sighs> Nothing there. Let's get up towards the shipping lane area. Uh, nobody charged... Oh, okay, I was going to say, nobody's charging the ballast tanks. I really don't like it when they do that. That makes me irate. Come on, boats. Where are you? All right, we'll go to there, and then we'll skip down to sector BF1, where there's actually boats for a change. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, we're going to BF1. That's going to be happening. Pretty much guarantee it. Pretty much guaranteed. -y. Like, what? Really? Like, I get it's a big ocean. I understand that. I do. But come on. Zero ships in the whole sector? None? Man. I'm not cool with that. I ain't okay with that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we'll get here and we'll track in this way. With any luck, we'll be picking up some uh, merchants. Uh, I just want 7,000 teeny tiny tons. There's not even that many, you know? It's only 7,000 of them. It's fine. There we go. 12 to 28. Heading into the sector, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure about that. There we go, a 13 to 29. All right, let's go up this way first, maximum go. That's what we're talking about. We want to see some tonnage, please. I would enjoy seeing all the pretty, pretty thun tons that you have. Okay, by my reckoning, we should be fairly close to that convoy now. Anything on the old spy glasses? And by close, I mean ballpark, not uh, actually physically close. You know what I mean? I would say at a minimum, we're probably still at least 30 to 40k. Slow to three. Dippity do. There they are. It says they're on a bearing of 83. All right. I'll buy that for a dollar. All right. Let's go, go, gadget boat. Go, go, gadget boat. Maximum, please. We want to be out in front. Um, no, definitely it's not going to be a war patrol. And it's not going five knots. That's just the game's quick interpretation of it. It won't be doing five knots. And there definitely isn't going to be like 13 warships in a single uh, patrol. I mean, I guess it's possible. Very improbable, let's say. Should be pulling ahead of it, more or less, now. Here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, given the spacing of this guy, I'm guessing a lead destroyer. Unknown as to the rest. That looks very teeny, could be a Corvette. Same with this over here, right there. Alright, so we're at two... Alright, so they're basically to a 90 degree to me right now for the most part. We'll keep on moving at speed max. Get ready to uh, say hello to our friends and neighbors. Yes, yeah, so let's begin on torpedoes, gentlemen, and cut in real hard. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's slow to three. Slow to three, get these torpedoes loaded up, or not loaded up, warmed up. There we go. That's two of them. This is three of them. Four of them seems like a good number. All right, where are we at now? Three, one, zero. Hmm, distance is still a good long ways away. Let's slow to two. All right. Red lights are always on on my boat, my guy, unless I'm diving for a long time. We're always at red light. Always at red light. 300 degrees. Back up to speed three. Don't like stuttering on the map. Come on, game. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Jesus. Okay, they're coming pretty much right at me now, which is good. Let's stop here. Let's warm up number five just for fun. Stop here for the time being. Get number five warmed up. I think what we're going to do is die for a little while. Let's dive. Now, listening room, please. 
Here they come. Let's keep going on the torpedoes. Keep them all nice and hot. Ooh, these little micro stutters, though. Not a big fan. It's my fault, really. I'm so used to playing it pretty smoothly. And then I put in all these mods, and now I'm like, what the hell? Nothing works. Like, yeah, nothing works, because you put in all the mods. <laughs> right? Just me being me. I'm thinking I might want to back up just a little. Let's reverse a little. Just a touch. Stop right here. Okay, so they're coming in towards us. We're hanging out here saying hi. There we go. Now, is that the ragged edge of the convoy, or is that the middle of the convoy? Either way, I'm going to move forward. Just a wee bit. Okay. You are going to be roughly there. It's only a couple of hundred meters behind me. Okay. This is not too shabby. I want to be right there. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to be. Is that a sub... No, it's just a super teeny boat. What? Huh. When did they get super teeny boats? Where did they come from? Okay, let's lock controls to dead forward. Speed's at zero. Let's bring the boat down to three zero. Get somebody on depth keeping. Turn off the electric dive planes. Good. Now let's let them roll on in. I thought it was an NPC for sure. <clears throat> I could have done that, Samurai, but uh, I got my way of playing and you got yours, my guy. It's all good. It's all good, my guy. Everybody plays a little differently. And that's what's so cool about U-Boat, that you can play differently. I'm going to move forward just a bit more. Just, oh, I forgot. Okay, let's kill the motors there. Back to station keeping. Good. Could be a fishing boat, yep. Maybe it's below the water. That'd be fun. Um, okay. Let's get values. He's got awesome purple flags, which is neat. I think that's pretty cool. Taking one minute timing on our friend here. Now let's do 315. We haven't done 315 in a while. Do a 315 timing. Um, basically, when this guy goes by me, I'll start raising the boat up. I'll pump two into this guy, one into this guy. I'll start moving forward and fire at this guy. That's my plan. It's more or less the idea of what we're getting at there. I'd like to get all 7,000 in one round, if at all possible. Maybe not the most probable of scenarios, but we're going to do our best. Yes, we are. Um, this is still the first minute, right? Yeah, it's probably still the first minute. Hope it is. I hope it is. Because if not, I've just lost a bunch of time. Well, thanks, Samurai. I appreciate you saying so. Yeah, one torp here, two there. Move forward, two there. Hopefully we got time to load up the rear. This guy's a problem. Don't like how he's buried in the middle of the convoy like that, but it is what it is. Not their normal setup for this area. Alright, we're at 1 minute and 15 seconds, 2 minutes to go. Stopwatch is a mod, it's part of the TDC mod, yes. If you get the TDC mod, you get your fancy, fancy uh, stopwatch as well. Fancy, dancy stopwatches. You gotta love them. Let's see, 1... Two, three escorts currently. There could be more. There could be more, but currently three. This guy could be a cruiser. They normally don't have a battleship inside the lines like this. That could be a cruiser. And that is problematic. Game looks amazing. It can be. If you have fun playing it, it can be. Uh, I think that's the two minute mark right there. I'm pretty sure. I think we're at the two minute mark. Shooting for 315. Thank you, Samurai. One minute and five seconds left in our timing. And thank you, V. Yeah. On the bright side, we could dive straight to the bottom in order to hide here, which would be very helpful. 
One, two, three, four. Four escorts now. Four, and I'm assuming we'll see at least another one on this side as well. Wonder why there's a fishing boat. It's got to be a fishing boat. It's so small. You know what I mean? Super tiny. Mm, let's see. Coming up on 2 minutes 55. Three minutes there. People do need food. You're not wrong. You're not incorrect. Ooh. Creepy. I like it. All right. Three seconds. Two. One. Good there. Good there. Oop. I just went inside that person. Sorry about that. Okay. Two minutes and 15 seconds on target to the forward. We're pretending we don't know what it is. Ooh. 520 meters, eh? 5.2. Interesting. Very, very slow convoy. Wonder what they're bringing with them. You gotta be bringing something pretty interesting to be going 5.2 knots. Know what I mean? Yeah. Skeery clicky. You're not wrong. That was some skeery clicky right there. Hell, was that a sea raptor? No, it's a graphical error because technically we don't have sight on the uh, target, so it's... Flag is all kinds of screwed up. 85 degrees is the true nautical course of our convoy. 85. Okay. Now it's just a matter of them coming on over here. They come over here and we uh, explode them. True. The fish. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's like a VIP on board the fishing boat. There's another uh, escort right there. Now, with any luck, I'm still going to have warm torpedoes. With any luck, we're still going to have warm torpedoes. That's going to be the important thing here. All right, we're going to shift to red lighting now. I'm going to wait another minute and start bringing the boat up. Perfect. He's in my baffles, which is not great, but it is what it is. Let's come up to periscope depth, please. 20 meters, okay. Give me this. Let me take control, please. Thank you. Eyes front. Alright, where's my huckleberry? Come on, boys. I'm gonna need you to keep it steady. I got somebody on depth keeping, after all. You're all supposed to be military men. Alright, what do we got? We have got a ship. A ship is indeed what we've got. It is a merchant of unknown origin. So we're going to pretend it's UK, I guess, because I don't know what to do with that. It is an Empire Tower, I believe. Uh, civilian vessel. Passenger ship. What? What? Freighter. Here we go. Merchant. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Hmm, getting range is going to be extremely difficult in these waters. Is there a carrier in the group? Probably not at 1940. Yes, it does, Samurai. The uh, distance above the waterline really, really matters. Some kind of graphical error there, Varkor. Some kind of graphical error. Okay. So, that guy's moving, interestingly. Now, distance to forward target is 1,200-something. Distance to rear target is 600-something. So approximate difference of 500 if I shot there. Vice, say, 10 if I shot there. Let's eyeball it and say, like, 450 meters difference, something like that. We're not trying to get it perfect. We're not. We're trying to pretend like we're actually doing this, right? Um, Mag Sim TV, thanks for that follow. Hello, welcome to the channel. What is going on? All right, now target to my rear. Uh, approximately what? Two hundred degrees. Come on, let me see ya. Where you at? There you are. 
Now that is 100% a UK ship. That is UK, and it is a tower type. Uh, here we go. That's that guy. Now, we want to take the forward shot, for, shot first, obviously. She's further away. Now, this guy's going to be where? 570. It's going to work out roughly. It's going to be a rough thing, but it's fine. Um, unlock, please. Forward targets. Forward target. All the way around. Here we go. Come on. You can do it. All right. Unknown ship. Velocity was 5.2. We lost that for some reason. Distance to target. It's going to be rough. This one's going to be tough. Well, thank you there kindly there, Meg. Appreciate it. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Got to be able to see the water line is the problem. Something like that. That's not even close to correct, I don't think. No. That's off by 200 meters or better. Let's call it 1150 for sake of argument. Can't trust the statometer in these seas. All my Ford torpedoes are cold. Perfect. Perfect. This is good. This is great. Anyway, let's take the dispersion down. And firing forward. One. Two. Okay. Target to the rear. Just a few seconds. This is going to be 580 meters, give or take. Let's do a magnetic. Let's set depth down to 3 meters. Okay. Let's give it a second. Give it a second. Give it a second. Fire. All right. That's happening. Let's dive a little deeper. Started on loading torpedoes to the rear. Loading torpedoes to the rear. Take your helper with you, please. Okay. Let's see how we do. It's looking okay. It's looking all right. Oh, I used to do that all the time there, Zintos. I used to do it constantly. I used to measure everything out with, like, precision, you know? And then after a while, that gets pretty old. It's a little old. All right, we got our fella right here and our dude with the gnarly uh, flags up front there. Let's see how we do. 10 seconds. Good hit. Rear target. 10 seconds. Good hit forward target within two, three seconds. Just the one. Yeah, one dud. Okay, one dud. We can live with that. We can live with that. All right, let's... Speed up to two quickly. Speed up to two. I'd like to get within a kilometer of this guy if at all possible. Okay, we are moving forward. All right, we sank one. This guy has a schmick of where I am. All right, slow turn dive. Let's dive a little deeper. Kill the motors. Alright. Okay. Alright. Forward at one. I can get close enough to shoot that guy. Let's warm up those last two torpedoes to the forward as well. Alright. How are we doing? Looks like not a lot of tracking going on. <clears throat> hey there, Bubba the Shmoo. What's going on? Big fire, all good. I do like big fire. It's enjoyable. Oh, we gotta stop here. We gotta stop here. Let's come on up to two zero meters, please. Ooh, they pinging. They're pinging. All right, let's start adding some values here. Um, yeah, we're doing five point two. Let's wait till she gets out in front so we can pick a speed. Because I'm thinking they might have sped up, in all honesty, not slowed down. So I'm going to say a 6 for a speed. Let's do approximately 90 degrees for a course. Distance is 650 meters. 
Let's punch this tube. Impact trigger. 1.5 meter depth. Yeah, that fishing boat's doing some silliness. Punch it. Oh, come on now. We just slid under a little bit. Okay, we're okay. We're all right. Now, move forward. Get deeper. Oh, it's going to be a miss. They're going a lot slower than I think they are. Oh, maybe. Hang on. Uncanone. See how we do. Come on. Yeah! Took the nose clean off, baby! Took the nose clean off. You got nothing. You got nothing. Alright. Stick and move. Stick and move. Alright. Easy. Massive bombings. Oh, they're being squirrely. They are being squirrely. Might have a bit of a problem here. Let's kill the motors. Close. Very close. Two zero meters. Two zero. We're gonna have to fire a cold torp. We have to fire it cold, but that's okay. So I said it was going six. We hit it good in the nose. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit to like five nine. 5.9, approximately 80 degrees, distance is 400 meters, tube 4. Come on, flood, baby, flood, flood, flood. Torpedo away, move and dive, move and dive. Ooh, this guy's a problem, I might have to speed up. That guy is a problem. I might have to speed up. The Flora. The Flora. Who is a... Uh... Denmark ship? Is that... Is the red... With the white cross on a Denmark? Is that... I don't know what that is. So far so good, Canadian Pagan. So far so good, my guy. It is. Good to know. Three to three. She's right on top of me. Alright. Slow to one... Let's just chill. All right, come on, come on, give me back control. There we go. Fill the motors. Let's put her on the floor. It's 159 meters down. Let's do it. All right, we're in trouble. Right behind me. I did sink a Danish ship. Straight up, sunk the crap right out of it. right behind me right behind me <laughs> sorry people all's fair in love and war all's fair in love and war and other than this guy it looks like we got away with it those pesky kids couldn't stop us. All right, let's come up off the bottom. Now let's roll our way forward at speed one. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what that guy's doing. He is confused. Sometimes the escorts get lost. It's a weird thing that happens. I don't really know why it happens. It just does. And let's kill the motors here. Cool. <clears throat> if you're saying if you're saying you sink some Danes, I might get her to come back. I don't know what that means. Sorry. Tonnage done. Hell yeah, my guy. We got those tonnages. Tonnages completed. All right. Speed one to the forward. Let's climb up to fifty. Lost sight of him for a second. He killed his motors. It happens. 
No longer alarmed. Perfect. Let's go back to blue lighting because we're going to be under for just a little bit. Just a wee little bit so we get it far enough away to send in our messages. Without fear of harassment from the bad people. And by bad people, I mean my enemies. Not necessarily bad people, but they're my enemies. You see how there's a problem. We can do speed two here. Pretty sure we can do speed two there. Not a problem. Easy peasy. Periscope depth, please. Good. Radio. Messages. Good. Upsy daisy boat. Let's get on the surfish. Friends, neighbors, loved ones, compatriots, let's get to the surface. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. <clears throat> Being unable to avoid the search. Um, it's doable. Again, the, the really the best thing you can do is just plant yourself on the bottom. If you can just plant your boat on the bottom, shut down everything that makes noise, you've got a really good chance of... Uh, Avoiding detection completely. So just do that, my guy. Now, if you're in deeper water, then you got to play cat and mouse. And it can be a real pain in the buttocks. It really, really can. But, hey, such is life. Such is life. You know what I mean? Such is life. Two days later. <coughs> oh, I sink Canadians too. I feel bad about it, but I still do it. I still do it. All the time. All the time. Have I tried cold waters? I have. I have a couple videos on my YouTube channel of me playing it, actually. Wasn't what I expected. I expected something different. Not a bad game, though. Just a lot of controls to learn, like keyboard commands to learn. Not good with that. Um, Cosmic picked up some points. 100% Canadian Pagan. That's what we say. And the Skipper picked up a bunch of points. Okay, Assault of British Shipping level 3, I think we're in. We're about 600,000 or 60,000 tons away. I can't read those. They're too small. I regret unlocking the newspapers. I do. All right, we sank the something. That was that purple flagged one. Uh, 2,970 tons of raw resources headed into Liverpool. She was Nepalese. Oh. <gasps> I don't think I've ever sank a Nepalese ship. Wow. The War Nizam was taking utilities, 4,663 tons, once again to Liverpool. Then the something was taking raw resources, 4,128 tons. She was Tunisian. That's cool. There's lots of landlocked uh, countries that have their own ships. Remember that. The Flora the First taking medical supplies to, uh, sorry, 4,648 tons. She was Dane. She was a Dane. We done did a Dane. Not so shabby. Not so shabby. Only one dud to speak of, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Yes, there are many landlocked... Look it up, people. <laughs> there are so many landlocked countries that have, like, even a navy. Like, it's kind of crazy. Uh, radio dude, radio dude, I can get him weapons, I don't think that's really necessary. Let's do, hmm, um, let's do Iron Fist, let's give him that, that'll work. <clears throat> Where do they base them? In other people's water. That is where they get based. Didn't I have... Okay, the skipper leveled up. There we go. The skipper leveled up. Very good skipper. Supporter would be good. Navigator? Uh, not really. Um, gunner. Let's take gunner for skipper. Let's take gunner for skipper. I think that's a good idea. The other idea I've got, everybody, is that brings us to the end of tonight's stream, everyone. That right there, that little bit of movement brought us right to the end. Even if a country is landlocked, they might have favorable shipping rules that a company might want to sail under. 100%, they might get a whole lot of incentives and subsidies and all kinds of crazy nonsense to uh, make it worth them having a shipping company. 100%, my guy. 
And again, just because some some like a company is based somewhere, like a company could be based in Nepal, but it exclusively runs electronics from China to f- wherever, Alaska. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, it's a Danish ship, but they don't ever have to go to Denmark, right? So, yeah. Ungodly working conditions. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I'm kind of sorry. I'm pretending to be sorry. How about that? How about that? Well, thank you there, Got Burner. Appreciate it, my guy. Thank you. Hope you all had fun, everyone. Uh, I did, honestly. Like, once we actually found the boats, it got a little better. Um, again, I don't recommend uh, combining UBE with port missions, because uh, if you guys were here early in the stream when my boat got fired into the sky for no reason, um, maybe port missions are not the way to go uh, when playing UBE. Just saying... I know you might be stuck hunting in some unfavorable waters, but I think I'm going to steer clear of uh, uh, ports for a bit. <clears throat> As why a company might sail... Oh, 100%. True. 100%. Yes, the U-boat did become a rocket. A poor rocket. Uh, it didn't do very well. It got about 10 feet in the air and broke a bunch. Um, I'm not really sure why that happened, but it did. We were just sitting on the bottom, minding our own business, and suddenly the boat got launched into the air. So... Watch it. Watch for that being a clip on uh, on my YouTube channel, by the way, or my TikTok channel, which I have a bunch of channels, and maybe you could maybe you could swing by, and say hello to me on them channels, and then the channels will like me better, and more people will see the channels, and it's this whole it's this whole thing. It's a whole thing. You know how it be. Uh, if you're in the Twitch chat, you're gonna be able to see all that right there in your chat window. Unfortunately, I can't make the alerts work on other sites. So for those of you who need that, you can find that just below the stream in the My About Me section. One moment, please. All right, folks, listen, uh, it's been real. Hope you had fun. Uh, if you didn't, my apologies. I'll do better next time, I promise. Um, and for anybody who knows me, I do stream every Monday and Wednesday. So if you had fun tonight, or if you didn't, and you're looking forward to fun in the future, you can always catch me on the flip side on the Wednesday. All right, folks, listen, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I have been Lightly Salted. (laughs) Thanks for tuning in.